they are back in Lawrence, Kansas for more great professional wrestling excitement here at NWA Renegade Wrestling and a new athlete, admittedly a man I don't know a lot about on his way to the ring, a man known as Thunder Budokan. Bless you. Oh, that's his name, Thunder Budokan. He comes from Japan. All I really know about him is that he has been trained in several forms of martial arts. Actually, I happen to know he is trained in karate. Oh, really? What, what style of karate? Japanese? No, I mean, what school? What, what, what discipline? As he usual, was, he, he was trained at the Cobra Khan Dojo in, in the uh, storied art of Tu Wong Fu. Thanks for everything. Thunder Budokan on his way to the ring. And I can assure you, he has more athletic credentials than those that Steve Gerfie so haphazardly mentioned. Cobra Khan, fight or die. Thunder Budokan in the ring. And his opponent, boy, he's going to be tested by fire here tonight. He's going to take on Michael Strider. Michael Strider, I'm not sure that he knows much about Thunder Budokan either. But Strider... Uh, had an open contract signed for tonight, and Thunder Budokan was the man that ponied up to the bar. What? He signed the open contract to wrestle Michael Strider. I didn't know there was a bar. Is there ponies? Where's the ponies? Oh, I love ponies. Oh, boy, and they don't love you. And anyhow, Thunder Budokan is in the ring. Well, being a student of the martial arts in Japan, he was sent over here to, to learn more about the art of American wrestling. Why don't you just go play through my little pony playset? I love ponies! Michael Strider on his way to the ring, the playground bully of NWA Renegade Wrestling. Now, just go after this side. What's, what is he doing? This man is a threat to security, a threat to fans, a and threat a to menace himself. to society. Well, he is a menace to society. For once, you and I agree on something. Oh, God, it's Armageddon. He ought to be locked up, is what he ought to be. And Thunder Budokan has quite the test in his debut bout for NWA Renegade Wrestling. Well, he's, it's basically a chance to, to really get his uh, butt handed to him by a world-class athlete. Well, Michael Strider is a terrific athlete, though it pains me sometimes to say it. And if he would Why, just... Why, do you have a throat no. disorder? If he would just keep his mind on the wrestling, he'd be okay. But he, he purposely wants to hurt people. He's a bully. He's schizophrenic at times, and those are his good points. Again, this is NWA Renegade, not the National Debating Alliance, okay? You go in there, you fight, you get hurt, you hurt other people. Strider just lives by the theory of he's going to hurt you before you can hurt him. If you'd be quiet, we'd go to the ring announcer. Shut it. a man's man for you. Well, he is a very good ring announcer. I'll give you that. But nonetheless, we didn't come to talk about the ring announcing. We came to talk about the wrestling. Michael Strider taking on Thunder Budokan here in Lawrence, Kansas. And the referee trying to search Strider. Strider physically assaulting the referee. Hey, the bell hadn't rang. He could have crippled him. He could have broken his leg and he wouldn't have had a problem. He would have still been fined and suspended before the match, no way. Nonetheless, Michael Strider and Thunder Budokan to lock it up here in Lawrence, Kansas. 
And Strider with that far away look in his eyes that we've seen so many times. This man is nuts. I've often been told that he hums Berlin's take my breath away while in the ring. He really is nuts then. Strider now back in the corner. And referee gets between him. Strider more intent on yelling at the fans than beating this fine young athlete out of Japan. I think Strider thinks he's got a night off here. I think he thinks he's got a young man in there and can just uh, beat him at beat him at ease. And you really, you really can't overlook Budokan. He's really a fun, athletic guy. And you would be the NWA expert on fun, athletic guys, correct? I'm actually one myself. I jog a lot. And I so you are the NWA effort. Never mind. Collar and elbow in the center of the ring now. And a deep arm drag by Thunder Budokan. A second one. And Michael Strider's on his bicycle going backwards. That's like a Russian circus bear. And now Strider, I think, realizes he's uh, in for a little bit more than he bargained for here. This Budokan, while we don't know much about him, has certainly been impressive in the early moments of this bout. He is Michael okay. Strider. A minute into the match and throwing two arm drags. He's really impressive. He hey, is that's Michael two offensive maneuvers Strider. You've ever got in your life. Hey, I've been pretty offensive. True that. Yeah, yeah. Holmes. I'm, I'm going. I'm trying to help you with your new adopted culture here. But nonetheless, I'm Strider. Black and proud. Oh boy. I'm sick of the Michael man holding Strider you down, etc. Et Cole et Cabana. Right. Michael Strider. Strider now. Going through some sort of initiations. I'm not sure what is going through this man's head. I'm not sure that he knows what's going through his head. Doesn't matter. I don't know that he's talking to anyone in particular. He's just... Uh, maybe he's talking to the voices in his head. I don't know. But a big clubbing forearm from Strider. Well, apparently the voices told him to start beating up on Budokan. Budokan in some trouble here. Strider connects again. Big chop in the corner. And out goes Budokan onto the press table at ringside here. And Strider's going to come after him. Now, you could have gone to a neutral corner and let him back in the ring. But no, Captain Schizo comes right out after him. And Budokan fights back. Budokan chopping away. And it's Strider head first to the table. That's what he gets. And Budokan chopping away at the playground bully of MRW. Uh oh, he's got that cane, that Singapore cane. But Strider kicks him in the midsection. And now it's Strider with a cane right to the back. That's what you get. He attempted to use that. And so you say he should have been disqualified, right? So when Patterson used the chair earlier, he should have been anyway. No, Strider no, no. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying he, he gets what's coming to him when he uses the chair on him. But Budokan trying to fight back as best he can. Strider now has got him what's on that railing, on? choking away. Thunder Budokan. It's, oh, come on, just playing at camera at ringside. He was waving. Oh, boy. Michael Strider needs to keep his mind on the wrestling, but instead he just keeps his mind on his money and his money on his mind. Oh boy. Somewhere Dr. Dre's rolling over in his grave, but he's not even dead yet. Strider pounding away now on the floor. That's just his career. Budokan back in the ring. Now, oh, Strider now making fun of the hat of one of our fans. Well, I would too. You know, one of these days, someone is going to make Strider eat his words. Someone's going to knock his teeth down his throat, and I can't wait for it to happen. Not likely. Strider now in control of Thunder Budokan. Basking in the adulation of these fans, of which there is none. They don't like him, no question about that. Budokan fires back to the midsection. And now Budokan fighting from the ring, from the uh, floor there. I think he just tried to gouge his eyes out through the mask. High in the air, suplex coming. High standing vertical suplex from Michael Strider. Suplex, suplex, suplex. Are, are you having some of that Tourette's syndrome thing again going on? Because 
There are doctors that can help you with that. But Strider now has Thunder Budokan in a world of hurt. Bringing him off the canvas. Has him over the ropes now. Big chop. Sends him to the other side. No, reversal by Budokan. Clothesline misses. Over the sunset flip by Michael Strider. No, drop kick by Budokan. Covers him. We can have a huge upset. Count of one, count of two. Oh, I thought he had him. Almost got a big win, and believe me, that would have made headlines all over the world. You think so? Absolutely. They'd have been talking about it in Tokyo tomorrow morning. I can assure you of that. Budokan chopping and pounding away. Sends him in. Charges and misses the splash. Running Lariat right to the base of the skull. And Michael Strider now going for the STF. He's got it locked in in the center of the ring. That's it, that's it. Budokan had no choice but to tap out. He had no choice and no chance. Well, Michael Strider wins this match, but give Thunder Budokan a lot of You're credit. The by submission. He lasted a Michael lot longer than some other guys would have been Michael Strider and got some good offense in there. I'm looking for good things from Thunder Budokan in the future, but tonight, Michael Strider's your winner. But man, I just can't wait. One of these days, someone, somewhere, is going to get in Strider's face and force those words and actions right down his throat. And someday I'm going to get a toilet made out of pure gold. I don't even want to. You just sickened me with Wait a second. Who turned what? off the lights? What? Travis, hold me. No, no. Get your hands off my wallet. Oh, hold me closer, tiny dancer. Uh, uh, oh, but well, the lights are out here. I don't know what the heck is going on. Elect That's Cole Cabell! No! no. Cole Co Oh, turn around, Michael. <laughs> turn around. Run! Run! Michael Not Strider. Strider had bragged for months about injuring the shoulder, putting him out. He sees him. He sees his worst nightmare right in front of his face, and it's Colt Cabana. No, no, this is not fair. He's no, he, he can't do this. He just wrestled a match. No, 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 no. Michael Strider charges in, and Cabana, Cabana's pounding away at him. Six long months of hurt are coming to the forefront here. Back body drop on Strider. That's not fair. And Cole Cabana, who had to suffer through that shoulder injury, he's been out of action for six months, but boy, he's coming back now. And he is taking Michael Strider to task. Big bionic elbow, pounding away at him. Strider sent in reversal. Flying forearm. And Michael Strider seeks higher ground. How is this fair? Michael Strider has had a hard-fought victory against a very worthy opponent. Cole Cabana's got a chair. You'll remember it was Michael Strider that used a chair to injure Cole Cabana's shoulder. And I hope if Strider gets within range of Cabana, Cabana lets him have it. But Cabana's a dummy dumb. He deserves to get hurt. Well, that dummy dumb has come back and just chased Michael Strider from the ring.